Hello guys! Today on the teardown table we have the cool and warm electric cool box. So I'll just give you a brief overview of the cool box itself. So you can run it either off 230 volts AC or 12 volt DC. Here are your switches here, so DC, AC switch and your warm or cool switch or off in the middle. And you've got our master on off, off a switch there. Okay, so on the underside of the lid you have a seal here, your interior heat sink there, the one that gets cold or warm depending on the setting you've got, and the inside of the cool box there. So you've got a carry handle, when that's pulled up it locks it to stop your stuff spilling out everywhere. And on the other side you've got your data plate there. Made in good old China. Now, a lot of people think these are actually just sort of mini fridges, but they're not. They use a thing called a Peltier model. And what this is, is a device that when current is applied in one direction, the top side will get hot and the bottom side will get cold. But if you reverse the current, the bottom side will get hot and the top side gets cold. So this switch, all it does is, in cooling mode, the underside heatsink there will get cold, and the outside heatsink in there will get warm. But if you turn the switch to warm, it basically just reverses the polarity, and then the heatsink in there gets cold, and the heatsink inside gets warm, therefore warming the box up. So these, you can't actually use them as a fridge, so they won't keep sort of butter or yoghurt or milk or cold enough, because I believe a Peltier device can only cool to, I think it's either 20 or 16 degrees below the ambient temperature. So the higher the ambient temperature is, obviously, the less cooler the inside or warmer the inside of the box will be. Okay. So I think now what we'll do is open it up and see what's inside it, obviously the fun part. Okay, so first of all, what we need to do is obviously turn off lip power. I don't fancy to get an electric shock, so I'll pull that out. And then we need to take the top bit, the cooling bit, off of the cool box itself by these six screws on the hinges here. Okay, so now we have the actual cooling part itself disassembled from the cool box, and now I'll open this up. Okay, so now we have all the screws undone. Now this is where it gets quite tricky. What I'll do first actually is just take all the screws out so they don't fly everywhere and I lose them. That would not be good. Okay, so that's the screws taken out. And now the whole right bit with a little bit of brute force will just come away from the outer blue shell. Like I said, it does need a little bit of welly to get it off. over and there we have it the insides of the electric cool warm box so here is where the power comes in you've got your switch there now I've noticed obviously this is made in China quite cheaply that is the main switch there and I do believe that is wired to switch the neutral when I was always taught that the switch should always switch the live so the brown wire not the neutral so even when the switch is off, if you were to touch this board, 
You'd get a little bit of a jolt off that because it would still be live as far as I'm concerned. So that's the 230 volt input plug and that's 12 volt input. Now I believe the 12 volt just goes into the operating board here and then obviously this here, just adjust the camera. This here is just a 12 volt, two, sorry, 240 volt to 12 volt step down transformer circuit, really. If you see in there, yeah, 12 volt, 5 amp output. And it also says there 240 volts in, 12 volt, 5 amps out. So that's basically just to run the 12 volt off 230. Obviously, if you're running it off a car so cigarette socket, it's 12 volt anyway, so it doesn't need that. So you've got two clips here, there for your fans, so the exterior and the interior one. You've got your red and black, they go straight into the Peltier chip. So this is obviously out outside heatsink. And then the Peltier chip is underneath that heatsink there. So it's connected to that one, and then the one underneath. And this is just the external blower. That's just screwed in there like so, very simple. A bit of polystyrene here, just to insulate it a little bit. And then there's your interior heat sink in there. So what we'll do now, obviously very carefully, obviously do not try this at home, because it's a very dangerous livening up something that's opened up. So camera there for a minute and attempt to do this one-handed which is not very easy let's put the camera there for a minute there we go so I'll now turn it on and flip Cool. You see? Okay, the yeah, outside band started. Yeah, it's a very, very simple device, really. Low voltage, fairly reliable, I'd say. But just very, very, very cheap. I mean, this polystyrene in here, you can see this actually pushes up against the wires there, which I don't think is very good at all. And like I said, the power switch switches the neutral and not the live. Yeah, we'll put it all back together again, and I'll see you in a minute. So obviously, unplug it before you do anything else. And then, to attempt to put it all back together again. This part does take a lot of brute force, just as getting it open did, just to make sure that everything is nice and secure. There we go. So there you have it, that was a teardown and explanation of how a Peltier device based cool box mini fridge operates. So that's the same for all the cheap sort of mini fridges and novelty items that you see around. They mainly all use a Peltier chip just because it's cheap, fairly reliable and in sort of normal ambient temperatures they can get quite cold. Obviously not cold enough for refrigerating items such as milk etc that can go off. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did and I'll see you soon.